when it comes to like material bits of like material things, I went through the journey of going from one extreme to the other and only recently I've come back to the, the kind of the sort of middle ground if you like. Because mm. um, there was a period where I was literally just all about materialism, um, you know, fancy bachelor pads, fast cars, all the rest of it. Yeah. And I was doing that because I thought, you know, this means I'm successful, right? This means I'm, you know, I'm happy and quickly realised that, no, that's all, that's all bullshit. So it's demonstrating to other people more than it is to yourself. Correct. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. And I went the opposite extreme. Right. And got rid of everything. We went homeless. I went to, well, I didn't go homeless. I was living out of a suitcase. That's the opposite extreme, yeah. <laughs> well, I went travelling for a while, and then I was yeah, living in London in just, just like yeah. random apartments and just living out of a suitcase for in total about nine months. I was still running my business and whatnot, but I just told me about this. I, I just didn't want to have any attachment to belongings, so I, I had no fixed address for not in a homeless sort of way. Yeah, but no, I get it. I had yeah. no fixed address for about nine months whilst I was running my company. Everything I was just moving around. Every so you went, months. you went from the sort of the ego-driven showing everyone else that you've got loads of stuff. Yeah, and there was obviously a point where you decided, right, actually, no, that's not fulfilling. That's not the way I want to do. And then you sort of went the opposite direction. So Correct. what, what did you learn from? Because you're well, not obviously you're still in that opposite yeah. direction. You're somewhere in the middle now, right? Correct. Because when I'm dependent on material things to achieve a sense of self-worth, disempowering. Mm. When I'm the exact opposite of that, where I need to run away from material things because I need to convince, I need to prove to people that they don't impact there me yeah. equally as disempowering. Yeah, sure. And so it, it, it's about the middle ground of I can be with and appreciate a fast car. Yeah. but I don't need that in order to have any sense of fulfillment. So I'm, I'm kind of neutral over whether I have it or not, but if I use it, then I can appreciate it and enjoy it. So fulfillment for you then is what? Is, it's all different areas of my life. So it's about having a balanced life. And if we look at, you know, sort of weed of life and all different kind of categories within yeah. that. So relationship, family, friends, um, business, health, um, yeah, those, those types of things, yeah, yeah. then I want to make sure I've got a, a balance in all areas. You know, I want yeah. to feel like I'm progressing in all the different areas and, and you know, experiencing all the different things that the world has to offer.